This is the new S611 from GP Toys and it is an absolute firecracker. Now they actually specifically asked me to make an action video. I looked at it and thought where can I take that? Puddle tyres? Blind in the obvious. Let's take it down the beach. Anyway at the end of this video I shall show you around the car because this has got some very neat features and by the way it goes like an absolute rocket. Welcome my fellow Drifter Maniacs, Rich here and I'm out this morning with the GP Toys S611 brushless all-wheel drive and more fun than you can check a stick out. Now this has got dual battery and a lot of crunch. Brushless. Now it's got 2,000 milliamp batteries in there, so 2,000 milliamps in total. And now I was testing it the other day and the runtime is ridiculous. Now we can have some fun. They're gonna sell this is gonna sell well. <laughs> so let's range test it. That's probably about 150, 200 feet range on there. That's some fun. Oi. So they've uh, got twin batteries on this, which I'll show you afterwards. These it will, will give it a really good turn of acceleration on there. Well, this is, guys. So GP Toys S611. Four wheel drive, brushless. Low setting, low speed setting. That's flat out in low speed. Well, GP Toys said to me, Rich, you don't need to review this. Just go out and shoot it. Just go out and shoot an action video. So, so was that a review? Just remember, guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. I would say guys, at this point, 
There's no point in me putting a link to it because GP Toys are not selling the S611 at a minute. So they said, Richie, just go ahead and make an action video. So, so this is what I came up with. All the battery now has been going for over 20 minutes, which is just stupid given the size of the packs. Acceleration is just plain bonkers. Going uphill, no little car like that should be able to handle this well. Well, not that much power. Well, I think that's enough action for one day. Welcome to the GP Toys S611. Well, the first noticeable feature on this car, guys, isn't blindingly obvious, but it is right here in front of you. This takes twin battery packs on here. I ran this car when filming the action video you've just seen for just coming up on 30 minutes and the pad thing still had power left. I had to stop because I was running out of time. But over 30 minutes from something this size and with that much power, bear in mind I was on it pretty much full throttle whenever I could be. It's got metal CVD drive shafts all round on the car. It's brushless combined ESC and receiver in there. Steering servo seems plenty strong enough actually uh, on the sand, which is always a good test of the servos. A weaker servo can show its deficiencies up. This thing seemed quite happy on that. And those paddle tires guys, they got the grip off of these. Just absolutely phenomenal. I was killing myself with laughter because the thing was such a blast to drive. As you've seen, it'll also take a jump, a bang and a bump on there. That wheelie bar on the back, I think you will definitely need it on that high grip surface because the thing is going to want to lift the front wheels with those tyres on there. Anyway, I hope you liked that video of the S611 strutting its stuff. It's a huge amount of fun. I have no idea on the price point on the car as yet because you can't buy this one in the shops as of today. But I will be putting up an unboxing video and a full link to it as soon as they actually start selling this. But in today's video, they wanted a little bit of action. So hopefully that ticked all the boxes today. Thanks for watching. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.